Hi guys, good to have you all back if by chance you're new to my channel. My name is Margaret from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling and vintage treasure hunting. Welcome. Guys, it is Monday and that means we're doing a Roxy's weekly challenge. It is week four already and the challenge today is called flip floating hinged pockets. Flip floating hinged pockets. Yes, uh, say that a couple of times in a row. Guys, you may have already seen Rachel's video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Rachel at Roxy Creations is doing a challenge. Every week she does a lovely project, um, a lovely simple, simple project. And uh, she's asking us to join in. So I'm joining in. Yeah. So let me tell you about the project. Let me tell you what we're going to use and how we're going to make it. So what we're making is flip floating hinged pockets. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to do the de demonstration in my journal. Just get out a page like this one. It is um, a pocket, a top loading pocket. Yes, this is the hinge or it could be a pocket as well that you glue in your journal. So this uh, sort of functions as, an, as a hinge or even as a pocket because you can glue it here here and here have it as a, not a pocket talk spot or what have you and then the big pocket is you can flip it and it's floating i guess so this is sort of the principle of the challenge yeah and then you can decorate it uh, of course we're gonna do lots of decorating and you know me um i'm gonna put my own spin on it so i have Three more variations to this pocket, to this principle. Uh, very, very simple with the same basics, but just, you know, a little bit different than these ones. So this is what we're going to make. For supplies, I'm using book pages. You can use any sort of paper that you like. Uh, Rachel, I believe, even used uh, digitals or I wouldn't make them from scrapbook paper because that's maybe a little bit too heavy. I'm using um, old and vintage book page pages for the bases. Yes. Then for other papers, I am using digitals. Uh, I have a lot of the Love Always kit from uh, Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio left. Also lots of bits and bobs. I really wanted to use it. And also, you know, Valentine's is coming up. So I'm using digitals to decorate or, you know, scraps. Use whatever you want. Now for um, tools, I'm using glue. These two, these for decorating and these for gluing, uh, this one for gluing the pockets because I want to have a small strip of glue. Now I want to make some uh, thumb notches for that. I am using a circle punch. I'm going to be inking. So my ink, favorite ink for today is walnut stain, walnut stain. Um, you need scissors. I... For my uh, variations, uh, you need to use scissors for sure. But I'm probably going to uh, use my paper trimmer or you can use a Stanley knife or what have you. Uh, a cutting device. Yeah. Anything else? Maybe I want to use some uh, washi tape for reinforcing pockets. That could be. But no fancy smancy stuff. No. So get out your papers, your scrappies, your glue, your scissors. Circle punch, not even necessary. Uh, and uh, some ink if you want to. And let's start, start going. The challenge is actually how many of these can you make in 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to cheat because I don't do timing. <laughs> and I am also not making sort of a stash of this. Yeah, building a stash. You can. I just want to show you uh, my variations on this. So I'm probably going to do four. I'm probably going to do four. Let's start with the the classic one. <laughs> the class I'm calling it the classic one, Rachel. Taking out a book page. Guys, I can give you measurements, but that's not really necessary. However, yes, we're going to fold it from this side, from the landscape side. Be sure, yeah, that it will fit into your journal if you're going to make them for a specific journal. And as you can see... It will fit. It will fit. If not, cut it to size. I'm not going to cut it to size. Now, it's going to be fairly simple. I want to fold a small fold here. 
mainly to reinforce the entrance of the pocket. Now you can make just a hinge or a pocket. Uh, does it make any sense? Probably not. You're going to have the floating pocket on one page and on the other page you're going to have it glued down either as a small hinge or as a pocket. I like the pocket idea of course. So I'm just gluing this down. And then I am making a small pocket, like two and a half inches or two inches or something. Yeah, like so. So this is going to be glued to one page. And then this is going to be the floating pocket. <coughs> Sorry, I'm folding it in, not all the way against the fold because it needs to be opened up and closed. Yeah, so a tiny bit before it. Like so. All we need to do is glue this pocket down. Before I want to glue it down, I'm going to ink it because it's optional. Uh, Rachel's not an inker at all. I've never seen her ink. Well, I haven't. Have you? Let me know. I'm just inking all around it. Maybe the walnut stain is a little bit too dark for these pages. You can see I'm not inking the top because I want to make a notch there before we glue it down. <clears throat> so this is going to be the opening. You can do this uh, two ways. Just have a notch on the front or a notch on the back or a notch through both layers. I'm going to do the both layer kind of notch. I'm pulling it. Cheers. <laughs> there you go. We're still doing the drinking game, I guess. Now I'm taking out art glitter glue. You don't need art glitter glue for this, lovies. No, I'm just using this because I want a small strip of glue. But if you have normal like wet glue in these sort of small containers with uh, a nip on it, you can use that. It's Monday. Art has been off duty for two days, which means he's a little bit sort of clogged up. There you go. Come on, Art. It's Monday. Yes. We're going to have fun again. Just two small beads of glue. And there you go. And we're going to glue it shut. And there you are. Now this is the other pocket. What I'm going to do is um, glue this onto itself with just normal glue stick. This is mainly for um, reinforcing this pocket. Now, what you can do, you can make a notch here. You can leave it as is, whatever you want. I am going to make a notch. There you go. I'm again going to ink it up a little bit. There you go, bit, bit here, bit there. All around. Also going to ink the back. Now guys, basically this is it. Is that it? That's it. That's it. I'm going to get my journal and show you. Yeah. Uh, let's take out a page. Oh yeah. So it was this page. We made this one. So I am going to, uh, let's just glue, I'm going to glue it down. Am I? Yes, I'm going to glue it down. Then you need some more inking maybe. I'm going to do the decorating. Uh, later on in a journal itself but I really want to show you how this works on a page yeah so I want to have this as a pocket I'm gluing it here here and here why because if you open this up there's going to be a hole here does it make any sense so we need to glue it on three sides Again, I'm taking art for this because I want the strip to be smaller so you have more room in the pocket. There you go. Pocket. Really? Yes. Let me show you. Pocket here. Yes. And then for a larger tag, a pocket here. And no pocket here. You could put a pocket here. 
whatever you want you can decorate it any which way you can so that is the basics basic one done now let me show you my variations taking out another book page yeah this one is a little bit smaller a little bit shorter uh, i'm going to fold this up again like so i'm going to make it into another pocket yes i want to make another pocket i just i enjoy it why not have a pocket on the other side of the page there you go now again i'm folding this all the way to the other side well not all the way leave uh, the tiniest bit yeah there you go i'm inking here because we cannot reach this anymore once everything is glued down yeah now i'm going to glue it pay attention normally i would glue it here and here to have a top loading pocket i am going to glue it shot all the way so on the bottom yes on this side yes and on the top really yes on the top on the top it's gonna be fine guys there you go gluing it shut so now we have a pocket here we're gonna have a pocket here and then just a flip out page which is cute you can have it as a normal flip out page and put some decorating on but i want to have it as a pocket here a side loading pocket now take out your scissors a ruler and a knife i am going to take out my paper trimmer and i'm just going to take off the tiniest sliver just i just need to open it up is it open it is no, i need to let it dry yeah like so making a notch through both of the layers there you go And we're inking. So we're going to have a pocket on this page. And then a pocket on this page. It's going to be a side loading pocket. Like so. Cute, right? Instead of having it on the top, have it at the side. Why not? Why not? So here's like variation number two. This is number one. This is number two. Let's have a notch in here. To have some indication that there this is also a pocket number one number two um i have another one for you and i also came up with another one so i have three more to show you okay guys this is a little bit uh how did i come up with it because this page is a little bit too long for my journal see so i was like maybe i, I should uh cut a piece off or or maybe I am just going to fold it up. Fold it up like so. Yes? Lengthwise. Landscape. Yeah? Okay. Now I want to make another pocket here. I am going to flip the whole thing over. The whole thing over. So the fold is going to be on the back. Now just treat it as a normal page. What is a normal page? We're going to flip this over to make uh, a reinforcement for the entrance of the pocket. And then make it into a pocket. Yes, a normal one. The small one. There you go. I'm just making it up as we go, guys. Yes, and then we're going to make this into our top loading pocket. You know, the classic one. The classic one. But now we also have pocket here and we also have pocket here. I think, to be honest, that is brilliant. And we also have pocket here. Amazing, right? Which means um, I'm not going to make a notch here. No. Now we need to glue some pieces down. I'm going to fold it open again. Where are we going to glue it? Well, not a lot. Um, I'm going to glue this piece, this little flappy, down, yeah, and 
the reinforced bit of that pocket. That is what I'm going to glue down. Then, folding this in, I'm going to glue this piece. Yeah, this flap here first. There you go. Are you enjoying yourself, Daisy? Can you hear purring? Hi, hi, little girl. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> He's very talkative today. And then we're going to glue it as a normal pocket. Which means on the bottom. Yes, on the bottom, love. And to the side. Here and here. Forgot to ink it. I forgot to ink it. Can we still ink it? We sort of can. So if you're inking this, ink it before you glue it, lovies. Yes, mau. Daisy agrees. See? There you go. Do we need to glue it here? Mm, if we fold it over. I think I will. I don't know if it is necessary. I'm going to put a strip of glue there. Just over here. And I'm going to make a notch on the top. There you go. We're going to have a pocket here, a small pocket here. Yeah. Then we're going to have a pocket here, here, and here. Brilliant. If I do say so myself. Another variation. I have two more. Two? Yes, two more. I'm going to make one with this music paper. Now, this is a very large sheet of vintage music paper. It's way too big to put in a journal. What I want is a longer piece but a smaller piece so i'm actually going to sort of cut it in half i'm going to cut it in half probably am i do not want to take my paper cutter out uh, this is old paper hopefully i can just sort of rip oh yes like butter i just folded it and i'm going to sort of it Tada! okay so a longer strip of paper now hopefully this paper isn't too brittle for all the folding that i'm going to do it, it might be but you know we'll find out we'll find out i am going to use it as a normal book page which means again folding this up for reinforcing the entrance already can see it is going to crack a little bit over here see it's cracking that's okay i am probably gonna have some tape on it then i'm going to make my pocket over here now instead of um gluing this all the way to the end i am gluing it over here now this is way too tall now uh, but i also want to reinforce this I'm going to reinforce it a lot <laughs> and then I'm going to fold it up like so so we're going to leave a lot of room in between here you could have a little bit more room if you wanted to no problem now first I'm going to glue this reinforced piece here and if your paper is uh, not as tall as this one this flap will be smaller of course and this piece over here there you go and then i'm not going to make this into a top loading pocket i'm not going to make it into a side loading pocket from this side but i'm going to make it into a pocket from this side which means the following are we inking it we are inking it Now, I like that, that I made the prototype. This is the prototype with uh, this paper. However, uh, this is too brittle to make any of these projects. So, I can probably not use it. But let's see. Um, why did I ink this? You don't need to ink this. Well, you need to ink it after you've made a notch, lobby. 
And there you go. And I'm gluing here and here. Here. And here. There you go. Now, guys, um, I'm going to make a notch here, but not a very deep one, a shallow one, because this is going to be multifunctional. Because you can also have it as a sort of standalone pocket. No. <laughs> but we were going to glue it in a page. Actually, it's okay because I glued it together. I don't need to use tape. So we have a pocket and another pocket. Like a side loading pocket from this side. So that's why we made it a little bit shorter. Ta da! One, two, three. Classic one. Have one more to go. Another sort of normal sized book page. This will be no surprise. I didn't make any variations on this pocket. However, if you're using smaller pockets of smaller uh, pages, uh, you can just have it as a hinge. Yeah. And not make it into a pocket, but you know, I happen to love pockets. So it's going to be like so. Um, make it into a pocket. Why don't you? Yes. Doing the classic fold, just almost all the way to the fold line here. And there you go. I'm even going to glue it in the classic way, which means I'm going to have the opening on the top. On the top. Super glue here and here. There you go, folding it in. Yep. We have a classic one. Now, what I want to do, let's say, why, why do I want to do it like so? Let's say, and also guys, I'm doing it from the same side again and again. Switch it up, why don't you? And start over here with the fold and not over there. I'm just doing it all on the one side, which is stupid. <laughs> little bit stupid just the tiniest bit let's say you have this lovely page yeah you're gluing this over here and this will almost completely cover this page which is a shame because we want to see some of the lovely flowers now so instead instead of putting a notch on the top um you can just take out scissors guys or you know rule a knife i am again taking out my paper trimmer i am going to cut off at an angle there you go big angled pocket yeah let me show you on the page now i made one and then i put in a notch that looks silly so don't put in a notch it just looks silly and also you don't need it uh so now we have uh this sort of a pocket so, which is great great right yeah because you see a lot more of the page now, in my opinion. So, option number five, I guess. That's enough, don't you think? <laughs> yes, I think it's enough. Let's do some decorating. Let's do some decorating. I'm just going to start with the classic one. Let's call it the classic Rachel. Yeah, why don't we? Um, just going to take out some of these lovely papers from Michelle just gonna put some on this is actually fr a freebie from a from the facebook group but i believe the freebies are now on her coffee site i don't know for sure yep i am just going to take a piece off and glue a piece on trying to do this more in a rachel style more more random gonna eyeball it not all the way to the bottom just you know over here could also use a tearing ruler for this i just want to put the piece on just it's just lovely are you gonna ink it yes i'm not gonna do walnut stain anymore i think it's a little bit too dark so frayed burlap it is I 
I'm just going to put on this piece of paper as another sort of background. Blue page. Fantastic, right? A subscriber commented, why are you using these lovely pages for glue pages? Um, I'm sorry, love. I don't think these are lovely pages. I found a whole pack I thought were lovely pages at a thrift shop. Only the four, the couple of ones on the top were very lovely. <laughs> and the other sort of big pack was these. So instead of throwing them away... I'm going to use them as glue pages. That's upside down love, is it? Yes. Just something like this. And now we need some decorating. What are we going to use? Big heart. Oh, another card with a rose. Or a small label. Bigger label. Make up your mind, lovies. Oh, yes. Just a label and a button. And done. And done. There you go. What you can also put in these um, tall pockets is just a piece of paper to journal on doesn't need to be a card or anything and the lovely button see because this is already lovely you can do something on the back of course you can of course you can but I mostly want to do something over here is this too big a little bit do we have something smaller we do no, it doesn't fit doesn't fit so we don't have anything smaller well, we have, um, do you see, I have a smaller one. I have a smaller one. You want to put a strip of the paper underneath? Yes. Just a strip of paper and then this handsome thing over here. Yeah, yep. Not inking stuff uh, does save a lot of time. <laughs> so yeah, you can make more in 40 minutes there, Rachel. I agree. I agree with you there. I think I want it on this side. Lovely papers from the Love Always Digital Kit. I think most of you already have it. If you don't, get it. Michelle's um, Etsy shop and um, YouTube channel are linked in the description box down below. Scroll all the way to the end. She's there. She has a permanent link. Tada! Here, here. Yes, you can do something on the back. I am not going to. Not at the moment. What else? We have more. Where are they? They're here. One over here. I want another piece of this lovely paper. Yes, Mel. I love this sort of lacy part. So we have some lacy on here. I also own somewhere a tearing ruler. The question is where? Here. How big do we want it? It's yay big. Incomplete Rachel style. She's like, oh, a piece of this and a piece of that. And uh, yeah. There's a lot of freedom in that. <laughs> But most of the time, my brain just does not want to compute. It's like, no, it needs to be even, needs to be straight. You already use this piece. There's a constant sort of war going on in my head. <laughs> but it's with everything in life. No, love, you cannot wear these shoes. You wore them yesterday. <laughs> you 
cannot eat this. You ate this already uh, two times uh, last month, month or, you know. My brain. There you go. Just a lovely strip of lacy sort of paper. Oh, shall we have some sort of floral bits with this lovely lady on here? Why not? Let's see how much we need. Over here, we have this like so. What's, what's stuff gonna need? A heart? <laughs> line it up. What are you doing, love? Trying to sort of line it up. Doesn't need to be exact. Ta-da, that worked. And then a little bit smaller is okay. See? Works. Works just fine. It's already so lovely. Are you going to put anything on it? Probably not. Because it's already so lovely. Yeah. I normally uh, print the um, ephemera pieces uh, out on a little bit heavier paper. 160 or 180 grams uh, cardstock. Um, and then the papers that I know I'm going to be tearing, like these ones, I just print on um, copy paper. However, my copy paper is uh, 90 grams. The, I think the standard uh, weight is 80 grams. I prefer the 90 grams. So lovely. It does need something here. Um, num, num. What else do we have? Like a normal one? With another button. <laughs> With another button. Already inked this one. And there you go. Tiny button. Over here, I like so. Just the cutest. What else? The side loading one. I love these papers. These are the collage papers. Uh, she even has maybe this. Oh, this is one of the freebies. This is, I, I marked it with an F for freebie. So this is even one of the freebies. I am using a normal ruler. You can use a tearing ruler. You can use scissors. You can use whatever you want, love. And there you go. I think I want to have the rose on here. Yeah. Yeah. Tearing it here. I'm gonna tear right through here. Do I want that? No. <laughs> so I'm taking up. Oh, or oh, over there. Not over the. Le no. I'm just gonna put the ladies into safety. Safety. There you go. Yeah, I'm not really good at random. Try to do random, but you know. Well, you're gonna lose a little bit of this sort of beautiful frame with the roses. What's up with you today, Daisy May? She just wants a lot of attention. And uh, over here. Yeah, lovely piece. Lovely piece. 
almost like I collaged this myself. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, we cheated. Yes, love. Well, she wants something. Do you want what? Do you want to go upstairs, love? Hmm? Do you want your mama to open the door? Yes. Just a second. Yes, just a second, lovely. Let me glue this down. Yes, let me glue this down. Oh, you should see this. She is now standing up against my chair. Yeah. And then with her paw taking me, Mom, Mom, I want to go upstairs. Open the door. So she wants to go upstairs. Already love it. Love it. Look at that with the rose peeking out. Fantastic. I'll be right back. I have to, you know, free her. She is on her way upstairs, probably taking a nap. I do, I love this piece a lot. Do we want to put it on somewhere? Oh, yes. We're gonna put it on there. Just a small piece. And there you go. Just a pink bit. Could have also used uh, pink ink for inking, like saltwater taffy. That could also be very lovely. Um, let's have it over here. Over here. Yep. Blue page. Now the whole purpose of this challenge is to make just a lot of the bases, then keep them somewhere and uh, wait for the right journal to come along. And they're lovely. And then use them and then decorate it, um, decorate them for that journal, like in a botanical theme or in a Valentine theme like this one. It's just lovely. Does it need anything? Yes, it needs this one. I've had this one in my hand for every pocket. I never use it, so this is the perfect spot to use it. There you go. Just lovely. Um, I have this one with the music. Yep. Because this pocket doesn't have um, a top loading one. It has this side. I can sort of flip this one around. So all of the other ones, um, well, this one, they all go on this side of the page. Yeah? So maybe we can do this one like so. See, I have it on this side of the page. So I'm going to flip this one over. Could also have done that with this one, but I didn't. No. So I'm going to have the flap on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. Um, but I want to decorate it more landscape. So this is going to be the top. Um, I was thinking this one. <laughs> this came in the kit. It is kittens and it's so funny. Because um, I have a picture of my babies in almost the same position. And Daisy is um, a red cat. Well, um, what is it called? A tabby? I don't know. A tabby, probably. And Jackson, her brother, is more white with grey. <laughs> you maybe have seen photographs of them. Sometimes post them on Instagram or also my community page. Love it. Love it. My two babies. I'm not doing any paper in the background. I'm going to add another label on here. I think. There you go. Um, one of these. Is it too much of the same? Or maybe this flower is too big. 
I have this sort of numbered circle. This, what else do I have? Heart. Do I not have a smaller heart? Uh, love, you have a big heart. You know you have a big heart. Oh, I have this. Yes. I'm going to use this. Just over here. Yes. And uh, there are a lot of these sort of cards in the kit. So I could basically put anything on there. That is um, portrait. So I need it to be landscape. Also portrait. Oh, Ooh, yes. Central Hotel. Valentine's. Pro proprietor. What a lovely word. Proprietor. There you go. Shall we have just, you know, it's it's here. I have another one, a bigger one. This one. Oh, yes, let's do this one. There's a little bit more white because of the fussy cutting. So I'm going to ink it a little bit more. Yep. Yes. Now I'm de decorating this in a very cutesy style with lots of pinks and roses and hearts and such for Valentine's. But you can also do it uh, Tim Holtzy style, of course. No, the other one. I was like, why is this white? Because you didn't ink that one. You inked this one. Well, not enough over here, apparently. There you go. You can have it as a pocket. If you decide not to glue it in your journal, have it as a pocket. And you know, and you're done. Fantastic. I have one more to go with smaller elements, so it needs more decorating. I want to put the piece on here, 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 and here. All that, yes. Um, I have some of these smaller pieces that I thought might work here, and not scrappy. And I think I want to have this oval sort of sticking out here but also have something in the back. So I'm using this leftover piece to put behind the oval. There you go. Now the question is, are we going to put the piece down like so? Or, no, definitely like so. Definitely like so. I'm going to glue it a little bit inside of the pocket. Yep. And then this one over here. So lovely. There's going to be a lot on this um, piece because there's lots of pockets and I want to dec decorate everything. Uh, upside down, I don't know which way is up or down on this one. Mm. It's going to be on like so. Yes. Oh, it's a perfect size. Perfect size. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. So cute. Here. Here. Oh, these colors look lovely together. Oh, this does look lovely. 
I am taking out my walnut stain because this needs a little bit more color. Yes, good decision. Yep. It says love, love. That's how you say it, love. A profoundly tender, passionate affection for another person. Or animal. <laughs> just let let us just add some animals. Do you want this? Oh, that's a bit much. Or just a floral? No, no. I think I'm gonna go for this one. While not staining it because of the darker scripture that's on here. Oh, I love this label, Michelle. Yes. You know how much I love it? I printed it out four or five times. <laughs> I just adore it. It needs a little bit something. One of these. I also have more buttons. But maybe a number. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. What else do we have? I think they're all a bit too pinkish. Too pinkish. So a nothing. We could do a nothing. Do you want a piece of this behind here? Yes. There's another sort of label on here. Lovely one. Also, it says loveliness on top of it. That's cool. That is a piece that I'm saving. I am not one for words. Well, <laughs> I, have a, I am uh, one for a lot of words, but not as a sentiment, as a word on uh, a project. I hardly ever do that. Oh yeah, that's perfect. But I do love this. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not one for words. <laughs> Do you hear yourself, love? Yeah. What I meant to say is I do not use sentiments or such in projects. I do have a reason for it. I will explain the reason probably in my upcoming Q&A. It's coming soon, guys. Very soon. So if you do have questions, ask him now. And there you go, and the other piece. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I think we're done. I am not going to do the backs um, for now. I'm going to save that for when I use them. Um, but I will show you the end result. Do we have five? One, two, three, four, five. We do. Yay. Here they are. In uh, no particular order. Now, guys, the reason that I decorated this side and not this side. You want to decorate both sides, of course. But I need to make a photograph, a thumbnail. And I really wanted to have both images, both decorated pieces on the picture that's why i decorated this side you know that's why i did it um this is the classic let's call it the classic rachel one i do believe rachel came up with now she uh, got the idea from uh, carol laws who's also brilliant crafter if you don't know her carol laws look her up uh it's the one with the top loading uh pocket with the flippy i've made every flippy as a pocket so not as a hinge the smaller one, but you can also make it a smaller one and have it as a hinge. Then this one, um, you could sort of flip it around and do it on the other side, but I already sort of put this label on and then this label is upside down. It's not really a problem, but you know. 
uh, we made a, a classic one, glued it on, on the top and then slid it open on the side and have a side loading pocket now. This one that you can have this way or this way, whatever you want. You can also have this as a standalone pocket. Yeah. Or just glue it on a page like so. Have another pocket here or whatever you want. Lovely one on the, on the music paper with my baby. And um, this lovely piece. Fantastic. Uh, what we did, we just uh, folded this piece not all the way to the fold. Just left a little bit of room, glued it on uh, these two sides, and then made a pocket on the inside. Another classic Rachel one, but we folded up the bottom first because it was too tall. And that created another pocket here, here, and here. So from this, this one, I absolutely love this one, actually. Uh, five pockets from one book page. That's a whole new video by itself. I do. I love the deco. I think this is my favorite. Love the decoration on here. Also this one. Uh, we made a classic Rachel and just, you know, cut it off. Oh, why don't we? <laughs> yes. At an angle. So, yeah. Lovely ones. Thank you again, Rachel, uh, for coming up with this beautiful idea uh, for us to play around with. If you want to see what other people are making, because um, even Tina Shabby Dabby Doola is joining in, Rachel and Bella, uh, Miss Edith from Scrapbooking with me, and probably a lot others, um, follow the hashtag. I'm going to put the hashtag in the um, in the title even, yeah? The hashtag is going to be in there. It's going to be hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge, yeah. So, guys, that's it for today. I'll be back again uh, Wednesday. Now, you don't want to miss Wednesday because I think, and I cannot promise, but I think I'm going to have my Q&A on. For those of you who don't know about it, I've asked a couple of months ago even um, for you guys to send in questions. Because um, I just want you to get to know me and I want to get to know you because I have the feeling we all are becoming uh, friends. So I'm going to do a Q&A. And my face is going to be on. <laughs> yes, I, I did think about it a lot, but I'm going to do it in person. I think it's going to be nice, very personal. Uh, it's going to be a long one. I think it's going to be a two-parter. One part is going to be about me personally, about my personal life and who am I. And the other part is about my sort of creative journey. So if you do have any questions, quickly send them in. Um, so yes, I'm going to be on this Wednesday might not be a Q&A, but you know, then it's going to be something else that is going to be very lovely. Hope to see you there. Bye, guys.